into Project Wrongway. In this episode, I'm gonna take an old crusty 1F intake manifold and I'm gonna beautify it <laughs> and turn it into something special. I'm simplifying the entire engine process because I'm going to desmog and I'm going with a fuel injection system. I'm gonna be using the older 1F intake manifold for my, my, my dead engine. And I decided to clean it up. And it fits good. It's made of that soft fabric, like somebody else has owned this shirt for a long time. But now I own it. Honey, what say you? What do you mean? Well, you usually have something to I say. I usually have an opinion. So you bought a used shirt? No, it's not a used shirt. It's oh. a new shirt, but it feels used. Okay. So you pay for it. I think the color is really good on you. I like it a lot, actually. Does it match my balls? We talked talked about this. What's this? What? Did you order that without No, that you? came with the, everything else I bought. I'm gonna take a step back from my constant tearing down of Land Cruiser and take a step forward in the restoration process and I'm gonna sandblast this intake manifold. No, you're supposed to be careful when you sandblast <laughs> that you don't get any of the silica particles inside the, uh, inside the manifold. What happens if you do? The silica, thanks for asking, Rachel. It will go inside of the engine and destroy it. And since I have this fresh 81,000 mile. Why are you doing this then? Because I'm gonna. You're not good at this. If go you, back on If me. you destroy that engine, I'm not letting you buy a new one. I don't remember you letting me buy the first one. You did let me buy the first one. She let me buy the first one. I've got this BHT flame proof primer. And then I went, I'm gonna go a little color. That's blue. I don't know. I just like the color. So we're going to primer it, paint it, but first we're going to blast it. So and let's tape off the orifices. Try not to make my neck look fat while you're at that angle. What, uh, wouldn't the sand be abrasive enough? Does my enough? neck look fat at this angle? Uh, no, it mm -hmm. looks normal. Um, could, wouldn't the sand be abrasive enough to break the seal that you're creating with that tape? Like, I, I feel like... Well, the point of the sand is to destroy, and that's not a real strong substance. Or I, anything. I think that the tape will be strong enough. I bought a used air compressor. I bought uh, some things from Harbor Freight, and then the sandblasting cabinet was actually given to me by one of my grandfather's friends. He wasn't using it anymore. No, you know what? Stop right now. There's a problem with the shot. Are you shooting him? Yeah, there's a problem with the shot. What's the problem? Is my neck looks No, fat? there's something that you placed in a visible view that I hate and I want you to get rid of. My booty hunter hat? I hate the booty hunter hat. I hate that hat. Should, but it's it was a gift from a friend. I don't care. I'll tell your friend. Take it off. The booty hunter hat comes from no. a program called no. Squid Billies. It's Stop. about a little hillbilly squid. Stop. So I had to get the rest of the stuff, you mm -hmm. know? Mm -hmm. I can't just have a sandblasting cabinet. And it turns out, to sandblast, you need a certain amount of CFMs. I don't know what that means. I'm not sure this is gonna cut it. What do you mean? I don't think that's gonna do anything. Oh, you don't think the tape's gonna do anything? No. I'm gonna cut around it. You're not buying a new one if you destroy your engine. Well, I wouldn't buy a new one. I'd have to buy another used one, honey. I can't afford a no, new one. I mean new to you. Taping stuff off. I don't normally do this. I even did research ahead of time. How's my neck look in this shot when I'm down like this? No, you know. Does it look slim? If you got a lower shot, try shooting from down low. It's just a different angle on your neck. So is this a special kind of sandblaster tape? Yeah. Or is it just yes, regular? It is. It's just regular scotch tape, isn't it? I don't know, honey. It's just the tape that I found at the sandblaster store. I went ahead. I, I took the liberty of taping some of these up already. So that looks like precision work, honey. <sighs> Make sure you rub some of that grease on your face. Honey, it's not the same if I have grease on my face. I'm just a dumb man. There's a lot of funny angles here. You're a funny angle. Careful, they'll run off. What do you think the odds are he's gonna cut himself? With the razor blade? Mm -hmm. Slim. See, that looks better. That looks pro. Don't push on it, stupid. I'm just, I'm just testing. Uh-oh. What? I turned it off on accident. Gosh. The gimbal. <laughs> How are you turning that off? It's a button. Like, yeah. don't push the button. Well, I was trying to get a different angle with this stupid gimbal. My arms get tired and I want to switch up my grip. 
See, I'm not gonna jump on that one. Instead of cutting around. And cut down. Yeah, like on the surface. Oh gosh, that's way easier. Warm. <laughs> it's getting a little hot in these rhinos. <laughs> is that a Ace Ventura? Yeah. Reference? Okay. Double check that you haven't missed any holes. <laughs> Should I blow into one of these holes to see if it'll hold air? No, it's ready. Blew my eye. If only there was a way to prevent that. I don't quite have a handle on lighting inside, so I'm using my Phoenix headlamp. That's F-E-N-I-X. And I don't need any mask or anything? No, no, just steer clear. That's all you gotta do. Okay, you got it on bright. Uh, I got a new handle for the, uh, for the sand blaster. Oh shit. Well, well, one of the little holes got some, not a big deal. Not, not a big deal. We'll get it cleaned up. Barely see anything that's going on. I mostly just see your face. Struggling? Can like, you see me struggling? Yeah. I can feel myself being shocked with electricity. I don't know why it's doing that. Yeah. I am, I am being mildly electrocuted. You're getting redder and redder and sweatier. You almost done? Yeah, I'm almost done. I don't want to pull out prematurely. It's mostly just you looking awkwardly at yourself. Don't feel me. I'm, it's you, that's all that this shows. I can't see through the glass. Oh, we're losing a lot of sand out that back door. Yeah. A lot of sand. You should probably be wearing goggles. Oh, that spot definitely didn't hold up. Look at that, right there. It's a spot where uh, I'm pretty sure some of that silica got in. So he's totally ruined this. This top part right here, is still a little funky. This guy and that right there. Are you gonna fix that spot that's exposed? No, there's nothing I can do about that now. Well, you could stop it from getting more into it. It's just, it's fine. Honey. It's fine. It, I'm not impregnating the, the uh, inside with sand. I have to buy the bigger sandblasting cabinet. No. Look at the water I'm trapping. Is that why you're getting electrocuted? I don't think water conducts electricity. I'm making a tiny, like a tiny thunderstorm inside. Mm -hmm. Like a tiny thunder sandstorm. Mm -hmm. How bad is it? There's no sand in there. Wait, 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 wait. Aren't you gonna need to keep that taped while you spray it for uh, the paint? What? Aren't you gonna spray paint it? Spray it for the paint? No, but aren't you gonna paint it? Mm. Aren't you gonna paint it? Yeah, I am. So then why are you taking the tape off? Well, Yeah. To make sure you clean the, uh, the manifold with some acetone, you know. Boy, that really dries out the skin, doesn't it? Oh, that's potent. Boy, that probably causes cancer. And now the dog's out. Do you know what Penny told me to do? <laughs> Penny accidentally put her thumb in the dog's butt. <laughs> How does that happen by accident, right? I'm trying to think. Like, maybe she grabbed she, her by the tail. The tail, yeah. Went, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Well, that's intentional. Probably should be handling this without my human greasy skin. I've also just acetoned my hands, so I don't really have greasy skin. Like a shake weight. Yeah. Easy touch conical nozzle. Do you know my grandma has some shake weights? She does have one? Yeah, she tried to give me one. Uh, you don't need one of those. <laughs> Allow 10 minutes between each coat, 30 minutes before wet sanding or applying a VHT flame proof. Well, I have to wait 30 minutes before I can apply it. I'm an instant gratification kind of guy. A lot of you know that because I lifted my Land Cruiser before doing any of the important <laughs> stuff, so. Mm. Yeah, so I'm saying, stand back. Yeah, I need to get, I didn't think this through. You're gonna have to let it dry and then do the underside. Okay. Just gonna rush it, do a rush job? No, it's a primer, honey. So? If you don't get a good prime on the whole thing, then won't the paint look crappy? Primer is the ginger of the, the paint world. What does that mean? Nobody cares about primer. I feel like this is pretty well... I think you did fine. Primer, huh? It's right over there. Huh? Right on the spinny thing. Correct. 
<laughs> Back at the shake weight. Yeah, I'm gonna hit it with a clear coat. Are you filming that too? No, but I'm, I'll put the, uh, I'll put what it looks like in the end on my Instagram. Remember a couple sprays for your homies. That one actually smells kind of good. <laughs> Said the paint huffer. <laughs> in the, on the top of the can that looked very green, but it's looking very much like your shirt. That was planned. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. I think it looked kind of pretty a bit, cool. A little bit of blue underneath, like yeah. a, under, a green with a blue undertone. Well, the header is going to be chrome. Mm. And then this, and then I'll do like the black mm. um, sniper fuel injection. It'll look kind of... Is this going to be the only object on your whole thing that's this color? Yeah. Would that be kind of random that you've got just a random green thing in there? No. Some angles I'm not getting here. I need to turn it. Well, I want to get... Well, the underside, honey, is going to be up against the motor. You don't need to paint it. Unnecessary. Honey, that's going to be up against the motor. Ah, you devil woman! <laughs> it's gray. I gotta paint it. Well, the anchors are wouldn't have been like, oh yeah, you're done. The anchors would have been like, I don't care what color I am. Move on. <laughs> I'd like to run. Well, that's a good coat. That's a Burlington Coat Factory coat. <laughs> We're going to Scotland, Rachel and I, specifically to bring a small part to a man in Scotland. This <laughs> is so weird. His name is Ali. I met him on the internet. We're gonna stay at his meat farm. And he has a <laughs> giant slaughterhouse. He's got a Land Cruiser. I'm gonna bring him apart. We're gonna go there, install it, and film some Project Runway International. But we're going to Scotland. It's supposed to be a romantic trip for Come us. Up. Project Runway International. Yeah, yeah. Meet we'll us at the slaughterhouse. We'll see. Could be the last episode. He's a stranger. He might actually just butcher us. Thank you.